Costa. We've got an auditorium filled with crazy people. And uh, these people are representing six high schools from all over New England. These schools which are gathered right behind me and we will meet them in just a couple of minutes. Heated competition is what we're talking about on topics like economics and finance. And as always, uh, the Reserve Cup Challenge is brought to you by the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. In fact, we are coming to you right now from the luxurious auditorium in the First District Federal Court of Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, of course, in downtown Boston. <laughs> Um, here's the deal. As always, with the Reserve Cup Challenge, we have six competing schools, and those schools are represented here on stage. The only difference this year for the fourth annual, we've added a twist. We had a webcast challenge, meaning as many as 40 schools from all over New England competed on the webcast for the right to be on this stage. These are the survivors. Give it up. Okay, uh, the way it's going to work, uh, the competition will have the teams engaged on topics from economic matters to financial literacy, tax law, and personal finance, and none of which I really know anything at all about. That's why we have the students, the competitors, the audience, and yes, we've got some experts here as well. It's going to be a lot of fun, but it will be heated competition. And uh, before we begin with the challenge, it is my privilege, and it will be yours as well, uh, to say hello to the Executive Vice President of the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, Lynn Brown, everybody. Well, welcome everyone to the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston and to our fourth annual Reserve Cup competition. I am Lynn Brown. I am responsible for the bank's regional outreach, including its economic education programs. The purpose of these programs is to inform the public more about the Federal Reserve System, but also to help people make better financial and economic decisions in their own personal lives and as citizens. A particular special of the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston, though, is developing programs that make learning economics fun. And we have a bunch of exciting um, games on our public website. But the Reserve Cup competition is part of this effort, both to spread the word about the importance of economics and personal finance, but also to show that it can really be fun. We, had, we were very pleased to have 40 teams competing in um, preliminary competition. As has been said, the, these six teams are, are their survivors and we congratulate them. We're also very grateful to uh, the other teams that helped us spread the word about the importance of economics and personal finance. Today's competition is going to be facilitated by the dynamic duo of TV and radio host Billy Costa and the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston's very own Chris Foote, senior economist and policy advisor specializing in macroeconomics and la labor economics. So I hope you do have a lot of fun, since that is a part of what we're trying to do. And with that, I will turn it all over to Billy. Thank Lynn you. Lynn Brown, everybody. Let her know. Make some noise. Lynn Brown! I'm told Lynn Brown, very close to the money here. There's a lot of money in the building. Uh, anyway, uh, we're almost ready for the competition. And really, here's how the challenge is going to work. In round one, each school is going to be asked one open-ended question that will focus on the topic of financial literacy. And uh, they will have 10 seconds to talk over the answer among each other, the teammates. And then the captain will give the answer, and I should mention correct answers in round one, will be worth 10 points. Round two, each school will be asked one multiple choice question, and that will focus on tax law and regulation. But this time, the question is going to be asked via video by a very important and special guest. Stand by. You'll find out exactly what I'm talking about in a couple of uh, minutes. And again, correct answers in round two will be worth 10 points. And again, they will get 10 seconds to talk over their answer, and then the team captain will deliver that answer. Third and final round, once again, multiple choice questions, only this time every question is going to be answered by all of the members of the respective team using high-technology gadgetry. 
and I have it right here. This, oh yeah, everybody together. Woo, woo. Oh yeah, these are our people meters and no discussion is gonna be allowed in this uh, particular round. They will each have their people meters and they will each get 10 seconds to answer. And in this round, all questions will focus on personal finance and or economics and each correct answer, a team member inputs will be worth five points, which means in this round, you can really rack up a lot of points. But we do have six teams competing today, each representing a New England state. And the winning school will get the Reserve Cup and will be able to, of course, display that trophy proudly at their respective school. And also, each school will get a plaque for being a part of this year's Reserve Cup Challenge Championship. Now, I know you're anxious. I know you're anxious. Uh, when a kind of people are crazy, aren't they? We just get... Before we meet the teams, meet the contestants, let me introduce my co-host and the judge of this competition. He's a guy whose knowledge and expertise in the area of financial matters is nothing shy of top notch. He's the director of the Center of Behavioral Economics and Decision Making at this, the Federal Reserve Bank of Boston. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Mr. Chris Foot. Chris Foot, right here. Um, Chris, before we do anything, I need to know, that title sounds so impressive. What does it mean? Well, basically it means that I help administrate a center we have here at the Boston Fed that really studies how people make decisions in the real world. Sometimes people don't make decisions that are financially optimal. They kind of make decisions using rules of thumb and that sort of thing. And that's the type of stuff that we research at this center. Okay, before we get to the competition, I want to ask you a question I'm sure a lot of people are wondering. Uh, we were here together exactly one year ago today. I remember. It was, it, was, it was a lot of fun. I had a great time. I've been looking forward to this all okay. year. Okay. Well, since we're talking finance and economics, and since you, Chris Foote, are an expert, are we better off today than we were a year ago? Ooh, that's a, that's a toughie. But I, th I think the answer is yes. I think uh, at this time last year, there were a lot of people that had a lot of concerns the economy was going to, to really tank. And we did have a bad fourth quarter last year and a bad first quarter. But in the most recent quarter, the economy has started to grow again. And most people expect the economy to continue growing for the next several quarters. I think the big question is what's going to happen to the unemployment rate? Uh, the unemployment rate now is above 10%, which is very high. And most economists think it's going to take a while for the, for the um, unemployment rate to fall again. So. The economy's doing better, but we are definitely not out of the woods. Chris Foote, everybody, nice round of applause. He'll be with us throughout the competition. He will make sure we are on our game and doing the right thing every single minute. Okay, so it's time to meet the teams. Ready to meet the teams? Let's go. We're gonna start up here with uh, Granby, Granby Memorial High, Granby, Connecticut, starting left to right. Name and what year you're in, please. My name's Chris, I'm a senior. Yep. My name's David and I'm a senior. My name's Kristen, I'm a senior. My name's Carl, I'm a senior. All right, full squad of seniors right there from Granby, Connecticut. I don't mind telling you, our friends from Presque Isle, Maine, uh, flew in for this competition, I don't mind telling you. Uh, so let's, uh, it's uh, Presque Isle Regional Career and Technology Center. Let's meet the, uh, the folks on the team, starting with the left. My name is Chris, I'm a senior. My name is Ethan, I'm a senior. Mm -hmm. My name's Cole, and I'm a senior. I'm Justin, I'm also a senior. All right. And uh, now the team from Belmont, Massachusetts. 